Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how I do my YouTube thumbnails at the request of a subscriber. Now don't despair if you're into publishing and producing books because this can also be used to create quite striking book covers as well. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. If you like videos like that then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. And if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, very much appreciated. Now, a subscriber sent me a message and asked me if I could do a video on how I create my YouTube thumbnails. Now, these same principles can be used to create quite striking book covers. And I've created many book covers in this way. So this is all going to be done in Photoshop. If you haven't got Photoshop and want a free version, you can do the same in GIMP. And also a new piece of software, which is an online software, which I quite like, which is Gravit Designer, which edits both uh, vectors and photos and images. So open Photoshop, go to File, click on New. And we're going to create a, a, a document that's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. Let's click on create. Now most of my thumbnails have a picture of me on. So first of all I will drag a picture of me. Now this image could have been taken on my camera or quite often I'll just do a screenshot from a video I've produced and then I just drag that across onto the document. And here we've got this handsome looking chap. So you click on the tick. So now we need to cut out the image of myself. Now we're going to do this with the pen tool. And so we just click at one point, click on another point, and you can move, move it around to create the, the curves if required, if it's not a straight line. And then we need to trace all the way around the outline of the picture. Now, don't make this too exact. It doesn't need to be overly exact because thumbnails are quite small, even on the computer. So you don't really need to spend hours, ages, really, you know, trying to find the edge. Just roughly go around the outside. So I'll speed this up for you because you don't want to be bored watching me just tracing all around the picture of myself. Okay, so I've traced the outline of the photograph of myself. And now the next thing to do is press Command or Control Enter, I think, if you're on a, a, a Windows machine. And we've got this moving dotted line. So what you need to do is then go to the Layers panel, which is down here, the bottom right, and click on this button, which is Add Layer Mask bang the background disappears now this is good because it's non-destructive so rather than just deleting the background and it's gone forever it's still there but it's masked so it disappears and we can move this around so I'm going to put this in the right hand corner now I like to create a shadow behind myself just to give my images a little bit of depth but before we do that I'm just going to put the background in so I'm going to go over to the panel on the left hand side and click on the rectangle tool. You could uh, just press the letter U. I'm just going to drag, holding down the left mouse key, we're just going to drag and create a rectangle. Now this has put a, this like postage stamp border so we're going to get rid of that by sliding the border down to zero. And I'm going to change the background colour and we could pick any of these colours. I'm just going to pick this blue. I fancy a blue background. Cyan, it says it is. So we can close that box. Now we need to put that behind the image of myself. So in the Layers panel, I'm just going to drag the image of myself above the rectangle. And there we are. Now I'm just going to click on the image of myself. And you'll see this bounding box around me to show that I've been clicked. Now just notice that blue rectangle angle isn't quite at the edge. I'm just going to increase the size slightly. Okay, now I'm going to click on, press enter, and I'm going to click on myself. 
Okay, so now we need to create the shadow. So we're highlighted in the layers panel here, or you can do it by clicking on your image, then go to FX, which is add layer style. And we're going to click on drop shadow, and this will open our layer style box. Make sure you click on preview so that you can see what the editing looks like. And these, we're on blend mode multiply, and these are going to change the properties of the shadow. Now it looks a bit dark, so I'm just gonna just, that's right, just decrease the opacity. You can increase the size if you want, which also in increases the opacity. So I'm just gonna reduce that slightly, and the distance, And reduce ever so slightly and we can change the angle of the light I'm gonna have the light coming from the top left hand corner so we've got a bit of a shadow there I'm just going to reduce the opacity again because it does look a little bit dark that's it so we've got a shadow behind me gives it a little bit of depth now we want to add some graphics and some words now I went over to Vecteasy and searched for light bulb because I want a light bulb in this image. And I clicked on download, which has downloaded the image to the computer. And in my download folder, we've got two options here the JPEG or the .eps file. Now, the .eps file has a, a transparent background, so we're going to use that. And I'm going to drag that across into Photoshop like so, and there we go. It's a bit large at the moment, so I'm just gonna left click on the corner and just drag it to approximately the size that I want. Now I'm gonna add, and just click on the tick up there. Now I'm gonna add some letters, some words, and I'm gonna have this as KDP ideas. And for those that have just come here to, to look at how to do a thumbnail, KDP just stands for Kindle Direct publishing so it's for some publishing ideas but obviously your words could be whatever you want so I'm just going to click on the corner and just drag this to the approximate size that I want it might be a little bit too big and I want it at an angle so I'm just going to make sure the mouse or the pointer key changes to this little double arrow and I'm just gonna change the angle slightly. Now I'm going to write ideas underneath here. So the quickest way you can do it, you can either click on the, the text tool and write ideas down there, or you can just click on the Alt button. There we go, click on the Alt button and just drag down here and then write ideas and just drag that into a, a approximate position that looks looks reasonable which that does now you could use any font here i'm using futura condensed medium um, but you could choose any font you like from your font lists okay but i'm going to go for Futura. it's a font that i i like in a lot of the projects that i work on now these look a bit dull, just the, the letters like that. They don't really pop on the screen. So I'm going to highlight both the words. Now I'm gonna merge these two layers because if you see in the layers panel, they're both in separate layers. So I'm gonna go over to layer, merge layers. So that just joins them together. Now like we did before with the, uh, the image of myself, I'm gonna click on the, the layer style button down here and click on Outer Glow. Okay, so you can see here, we've now got this little white border. And again, we can increase the size of that and make sure you click on the preview button so you can see what happens when you move all these little dials. Now that's obviously a bit too much. So we're gonna go back to what it was. Well, it was on six, six or seven would be fine. And also I want to put a shadow around this a dark shadow so I'm going to click on the drop shadow and then just click on drop shadow and again we can change all the settings here now we've got a light shadow here which is similar to the one that's behind me but I want a bit of a darker one really just to make this stand out from the light 
light blue background. Well, yes, I'm liking that. And size wise, probably about the right size, yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. So click on OK. Now we're going to work on our light bulb. Now I want this to be on top of these two words, these KDP ideas. So I'm just in the layers um, panel, just going to drag that above the above the words. OK. And then I want that also at an angle. So you'll see if we hover around the corner of the, the box here, we get this double arrow and then we can just change the angle slightly. I might just increase that a touch. And a bit more sort of in the middle. Now I also want to put a shadow around there. So behind there. So I'm just going to go on to again, layer style, drop shadow. And this is going to be, oh, that's a dark one. This is just going to be a very faint, low opacity shadow, just to give it that little bit of depth. Click on OK. Now let's see if I move that. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Now I think, well, I like that there. I might just change the angle slightly. Now here, these words are overlapping over my arm. I want them behind. So I'm just going to drag the image of myself to the top. There we go. I'm just going to, oh, okay. So I'm just going to click on everything. And I'm just going to move that slightly. There we go. And there we have it. Now I'd save this as a, just as a normal Photoshop file, but to upload to um, YouTube, you're going to need it as a, either a JPEG or .jpg, JPG file or a, a .png file. I normally save most of mine as a .png file. So I'd just go over to export, export as, Format, PNG, small file, that's all that's needed. I mean, these images are small. They're not going to be blown up to full monitor size or room size. So we just need a small file. And then click on Export All. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So if I just double click on the file, drag that across, and there we have it, our thumbnail. OK. That's it. That's how I do my thumbnails. Relatively simple, relatively quick. Um, I wouldn't spend too much time over it. Contrasting colours are good. You see in this one I did, I had the blue background, the red letters and the yellow light bulb really stood out. And that's what you want. That's a secret of a good book cover. That's a secret of a, a good YouTube um, thumbnail. It's got to catch people's eyes and it's got to make people want to click on it. So I don't use too many words, too many letters, just a simple, bold pictures and simple words. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the notification bell to, to be the first to receive notifications when I do my next videos. And make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it. And that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.